Recently, I got this sixth anniversary page from the PCBA company. This is basically an RGB LED module and can be easily powered up using 3 to 3.3 volts. Due to its cool design, I decided to use it in a social distancing project against the COVID-19 coronavirus. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company. PCBA is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices, only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. PCBA is currently celebrating 6th anniversary offering mid-air big sale. I'm really thankful to the PCBA for continuously supporting my work by sending me such high quality PCBs. As for the World Health Organization, the safe distance is at least maintain 1 meter or 3 feet. While some people suggest that this distance should be around 6 feet. In this episode, you will learn how to make a social distancing project based on the Arduino Nano and XC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. When the distance is less than or equal to 3 feet, the LED module is automatically turned on. And when the distance is greater than 3 feet, then the LED module is turned off. You can increase the distance as per your requirement by simply changing the preset value. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the RGB LED module from the PCBA company, which can be powered up using the 3 volt cell and can also be powered up using 3.3 volts from the Arduino board. As I will power up this LED module using the Arduino's 3.3 volt, so I will not use this 3 volt cell. This metal part is the positive which connects with the 3 volt side of the cell while this point is the ground. I am going to desolder this metal part. As you can see I removed the metal part. These two are the positive points while the middle one is the ground. Next I drilled two holes for soldering the voltage and ground wires from the Arduino board. The brown wire is connected with one of the positive points while the white wire is connected with the ground of the LED module. We are done with the LED module. Now let's have a look at the circuit diagram and see how this LED module is connected with the Arduino Nano. The circuit diagram of the social distancing project based on the Arduino Nano and an ultrasonic sensor is very simple. The whole project can be powered up using different voltage sources. You can use a 9 volt or 12 volt battery as the LM705 voltage regulator accepts a wide range of input voltages from 7 to 25 volts so the whole project can also be powered up using a small solar panel. You can also use the 5 volt LiPo battery pack. J1 is the DC female power jack and this is where we connect our external power supply. The voltage and ground legs of the DC female power jack are connected with the input and ground legs of the LM7805 voltage regulator. Two 470 microfarad electrolytic decoupling capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. The output leg of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Arduino Nano and the ground of the 5 volt regulated power supply is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino Nano. The LED module 3.3 volt supply pin is connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt. The ground pin of the LED ring module is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground, while the base is connected with the Arduino's pin number 9 through a 10k resistor. The transistor and 10k resistor together makes the driver circuit that controls the LED module. 
The HC Dash SR04 ultrasonic sensor VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 folds and ground, while the trigger and echo pins of the ultrasonic sensor are connected with the Arduino's pins 4 and 3 respectively. So that's all about the circuit diagram. Next, I designed a PCB for the Arduino Nano, which I will use as the development board. I added female headers for the 3.3 volt, 12 volt, 5 volt and ground. This area can be used as the Vero board for soldering other electronic components. I also added female headers on the left and right sides of the Arduino Nano for connecting the jumper wires. I double checked all the connections and finally generated the Gerber files and placed an online order on the PCBWay official website. These are the PCB boards which I received from the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the solder mask looks amazing. Next, I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. This is how the final circuit looks. The 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected with the digital pin 9 and base of the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The voltage wire from the LED module is connected with the 3.3 volt of the Arduino Nano. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground. The ground of the LED module is connected with the collector of the transistor so by turning on and turning off the transistor we can turn on and turn off the LED module using the Arduino's Nano Digital Pin 9. This is the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. For the easy interfacing I soldered wires with the female headers. Red wire is the VCC, green wire is the trigger, white wire is the echo and the black wire is the ground. Finally, I connected the ultrasonic sensor with the Arduino Nano as per the circuit diagram already explained. This is how everything looks after soldering. My hardware is ready and now it's time to have a look at the Arduino programming. No libraries are used in this project. The trigger and echo pins of the ultrasonic sensor are connected with the Arduino's pins 4 and 3. Next, I defined a pin for controlling the LED module using the 2 and 2222 NPN transistor. Finally, a variable distance of the type float. This variable will be used for storing the distance information. Inside the white setup function, I activated the serial communication using the serial.begin function and selected 9600 as the baud rate. This is only used for the debugging purposes. I set the trigger pin as the output, echo pin as the input and the LED module as the output. Finally, I turned off the LED module and added a delay of 1 second. Then starts the while loop function which consists of the actual code. This is the same exact code which I used in my previous ultrasonic sensor based projects. This time I made a few changes which are I converted inches into feet and added some conditions to check if the distance is less than 3 feet or the distance is greater than 3 feet. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Now you can design a plastic enclosure and add some straps to use it as the final product. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.